the towns or like the places that I have lived in in Cornwall have insinuated that there's something like wrong with me. I was maybe like 11 or 12 and I was walking back from the shop that's like around the corner and I felt like something hard hit my head and it was like pebbles and there was this middle-aged couple like throwing actual stones at me and I was like, why are they doing that? So obviously I, I just like carried on walking and then they started like shouting packy. It's actually really upsetting. I think recently when, when you're older and like you've developed resistance to this like racism, it doesn't affect you as much. You're just like, oh, you know, another incident, but really it shouldn't be like that. And I know when I was younger, it really did impact my self-growth and just developing as like a normal kid, teenager should, because you've got people like in the street giving you dirty looks and you're like, well, why? And then you're like, oh, it's, it's not happening to any of my other friends. It's only happening to, you know, me or me and this other person or me and my brother who are of like minority ethnic groups. I've had like a moment where I was like maybe like 13, um, 14 ish. And I just sat like crying on my floor to my mum. And I was like, I don't know who I am. <laughs> um, you know, not because I didn't know who I was as a person, like with my hobbies and stuff, but because I literally couldn't identify my physical looks with any other like group in a rural area. It kind of makes you feel as if you're all white or you're all black or you're like, you're all Egyptian or you're all British.